To begin, we need a mocha pot that has been brutally screwed apart and filled with water to blow the valve. Then, we must obtain the ground coffee and gently open and violently shake into a jar to preserve and assert dominance over it. Shake the living hell out of the jar and destroy any lumps, then spoon the coffee into the filter. Pro tip, you have to maintain the density of the coffee or the water will not rise through. This is not an espresso machine. Brush the excess off as shown here. This is known as blessing the coffee and this guarantees that the coffee will ascend to heaven upon disposal. Screw the top chamber back on and place on the heat. In the absence of a steamer, we will boil some soy milk. Measure in a cup the amount of milk you want in your coffee and put on the heat. Allow the coffee to cool down while keeping an eye on the milk. If you don't, you will need to strain the burnt bits out like I had to. Taste your coffee and add syrup or more coffee or milk to your taste. By the way, the curds are alright actually, they don't taste of a lot, but they're not bad. They're kind of, they're kind of skin-like. It's really weird, but I've had something similar, so it doesn't really matter.